New information tonight about a man who died in a ponding basin in Fresno County yesterday. He's been identified as 34 year old Jose Carrillo of Carruthers. His death comes in the midst of this heat wave here in the valley, and local officials say it serves as a warning to residents about the dangers of swimming in unsupervised areas. Liv Johnson, continuing our team coverage with more on staying cool and staying safe. Liv joining us now live in Fresno. Liv. Right, Stephanie. Well, when it feels this hot outside, water like this in the canal seems really enticing. Same with rivers and basins, but there have been multiple fatalities over the last few weeks and many water rescues. I just don't. I mean, that's the bottom line. You can't get into that water and get out of there, you know? Shane Brown from the Fresno Fire Department has spent the last few days training firefighters for water rescue missions. And he says during the training, they were called to multiple water rescues as more people try to find relief from the summer heat, often underestimating the power of the water. They had the drownings up at Avocado Lake, the Ponding Basin, um, two recoveries in the canal. If you jump in the rivers around here, within one hour, you can expect to, to be approaching death. Like the hypothermic reaction happens instantaneously. On Monday, the Fresno County Sheriff's Office dive team recovered the body of 34 year old Jose Carrillo, who drowned in a ponding basin at Conejo and West. Officials say he became tired and unable to swim any further. Sheriff's Office spokesperson reminding people of the dangers of swimming in undesignated areas. This is not a place to go swimming. Uh, you only swim in designated areas, canals and ponding basins, those are not those places. Shane Brown says while ponds don't have fast moving water like rivers and canals, the water temperature is much colder than most people expect and people's feet can get stuck on the bottom. The ground below it is so soft. It's that mud that feels like quicksand that like sucks your feet in and then people start to struggle and the more you struggle and you get tired in the water, then you start to get really cold, right? So hypothermia sets in. So some tips that Shane shared with me, of course, always wear a life jacket, even if you think you are a strong swimmer. Um, always tell people where you're going, and then, of course, know your limits. And when it comes to canals and ponding basins, just stay away from those altogether. Live in Fresno, I'm Liv Johnson, KC24, Local News That Matters.